I am speaking with Grifter, Neil Weiler, who runs the Network Operations Center here at Black Hat. And I've interviewed you a bunch of times, have you given me a tour of this, but the thing that you keep repeating that I love to hear about, and I want to dig into this, is how much you love essentially the hackers attacking this network. What do you love about that? Um, so essentially like the the fun for us is watching how the attendees interact with one another. Uh, like our main purpose here is to like stabilize and uh, I'm not even going to say secure because that like that's just ridiculous on the black hat network but to make sure that the um, the network itself stays up and is functional for all the attendees. The things we really care about is if we see somebody attacking the infrastructure or the registration network. If any malicious traffic goes in either of those directions, then we jump all over it. But otherwise, we just let everything fly. So, so what what happens on this network that people probably don't see on other networks? <laughs> well, honestly, I think you probably see the exact same things on this network that people see on other networks. It's just the volume of it that we see that is um, exceptional, I would say. Uh, so we, we see probably the amount of malicious traffic that we see here is what a normal organization would see in a year or two years or, or possibly like, and within a couple of days. And so the amount of malware, the amount of uh, different types of attacks that are being tried out, um, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a fair bit. With our, our partners in here, we're capturing every packet that travels across the network. And we do that, again, to maintain stability and to make sure we're taking care of the network environment for the attendees, but also just kind of like as an education tool for the attendees as well. Um, at the end of the show every year, we do a, a briefing the last session on Thursday that like lets people know the stats that we saw, what some of the most interesting attacks were, that kind of thing, because it's an educational um, exercise as much as it's an exercise in security of just saying like, what does a network look like you know, when the folks on the network know that this is a malicious network or they know they should know better um, how much clear text you know, traffic is going on, how many passwords do we see or open email accounts, that kind of stuff. So you know, that, that's what we like to deliver back to the attendees is to say like, hey, despite us all being security professionals, we're still doing pretty bad. <laughs> you know, so. Oh, well, the fact that you have this sandbox to play in is pretty impressive. I'm intrigued, what is the kind of malicious behaviors you're seeing this year that you didn't see in previous years? Um, so, so again, it's not, um, there's nothing like that where it's like, it's groundbreaking in the sense of like, people are like dropping, you know, zero days on the network. Like no one's gonna waste a zero day on, on an attendee at Black Hat. Um, it's more um, different variants of attack or different changes in uh, the way that things are executed. Also, um, malware variants will differ as well. Or where we see them showing up in environment, the number of folks who are coming into the network who are already infected with like crypto miners or things like that. So we've seen a significant uptick in that over the last year. Do you feel that every year when you do this that you're sort of your your knowledge in this game sort of upticks one one level? For us, sure. As an industry, things kind of fluctuate. Like I mean, so like three years ago we saw that the amount of traffic that was encrypted on the network was about 55%. Uh, the next year it went up to 65%. Last year it dropped back down to 55% the weird going backwards. Um, and so we're interested to see when we cap this thing off at the end of the week where we stand there. And that, that per, those percentages seem to be about on par when we go to the Europe show. So when we're out in London, we see those types of percentages as well. However, in Asia, we see 90 plus percent um, encrypted traffic. So I don't know what's going down in Asia, but they seem to really care about encrypting. So. Obviously so. Well, thank you very much, Grifter, for your time. And uh, this is pretty impressive setup here at the Knock at Black Hat 2018.